the Texas Go Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is part two of the 1745 live stream by Owen Benjamin. And it's bad. We had a mission. Yeah, and they're not they're not Muslims, guys. That, that's one of these dumb tricks. When it's like, oh, the Muslims. No, Nigerians. Like, let me read you what a very, 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 very trusted bear just told me. He, he literally works in the crime scam department for about Nigerians. And I sent him this clip. And he lives in a very high trust. I'm not even going to say what country he lives in. But trust me, this dude's legit. I, he said, I heard they do courses in Nigeria on how to claim maximum benefits for social welfare systems in Europe. If they aren't scamming here, I deal with fraud for blah, blah, blah. Trust me, this dude's legit. In the country, and talk to the police a lot, it's 90% Nigerians. They are all on welfare, claiming everything if they do work. It's sitting on their asshole at a security desk or in a taxi. They all share the same taxi license because police can't tell them apart from the photo of just two eyes and a set of teeth. All right? And you can say, oh, how dare you? You're being racist. Yes, yes. That can't keep going. All right? Like, like you can't, if you, like you can't just keep going with that where they come to your country, they, they take all your money, they fuck your women, they, they scam you, and then you just go, well, you can't call them a name. Well, then you deserve to be destroyed. Okay? So... One thing to remember is Owen Benjamin's end game is to live in a castle with his lieutenants, no mention of his family whatsoever, unless they're living in town, uh, running the restaurant that he wants to also own so that he has some kind of monetary uh, income, constant income. So he wants to live in a castle with his lieutenants in a high trust community where he tells you to shut your mouth you shut your mouth knowing that it's very sexually aggressive and uh, emotionally spiritually mentally and sexually manipulative predatorial him saying the things that he's saying in a whole lot of scenarios whenever he's preaching fear porn or fear uh, fear mongering is so that you feel the listener that everybody is out to get you and you need to seek refuge because then he'll give you one of the things that he also says is I hate people that bitch and moan and they don't have a solution. His solution is to give him money and to submit yourself to him. He doesn't preach the gospel of submitting yourself to God. I don't know if I've ever heard him say that, but he does practice the ritualistic ceremonial type of behavior of you submitting yourself to him. It's always white people say, why would they lie? Okay, let's just first talk about Pee Wee Herman. I, my Twitter was littered with Pee Wee Herman morning, and I expect that from whites have high trust because they think they created the system. Why would we lie to ourselves? It's a very good point, Black Lady Bear. Black Lady Bear appears to have a high IQ. I'm not saying all blacks are dumb. I'm saying there's bell curves. And when you're dealing with bell curves, three... And his bell curve is if you have a high, high IQ is if you agree with him, which is stupid. That's not very intellectual to, to think that, but he, he definitely does. He, he, he judges everybody else based on how well they like him, perceive him, whatever they tolerate. Whether you're good or you're smart is completely based on your response to him. 4% on the periphery is entire civilizations, okay? I'm not saying that if you meet a black person, they are dumb. But if, the irony is, is a lot of people are so dumb they don't know what a fucking bell curve is. There's there's millions and millions of blacks that are smarter than millions and millions of whites. Yes, but overall they're not. They're they're like a at least one standard deviation on average dumber than Northern Europeans. And no, no, I do not consider Armenians white. Obviously not. Like some dude tweeted me, he's like, I found that I, that that race is just a construct, and I I have I, I'm just as likely to be stolen from my own than others. And I was like. Well, what race are you? And he's like, Armenian. I'm like, no shit. Like, you're thieves. Godsworth, we're still on Twitter, right? Exactly. The fact they call themselves Muslim doesn't... Calling- 13 minutes in and he's already asking if he's on Twitter. And th- th- this is coming from the person that people think that he didn't intentionally break TOS on the other platforms that he kicked himself off of. That To me, that's a ridiculous concept to think. Oh, he's so smart, but he... I mean, they just attacked him because that's what that is. 
<clears throat> now, I'm not saying there's not a history of people just getting demonetized or kicked off of stuff for uh, reasons that are questionable, gray areas. But, I mean, a failed comedian leaving Hollywood because he wasn't getting jobs and then realizes that he does need another grift because he doesn't want to do the hard physical labor that his brother does. So he obviously had to do something and he thought that he could monetize the uh, term most band comedian in the world. And I don't, it obviously hasn't worked out well for him. Yourself Muslim is a scam when you're running a scam. Islamic people are not allowed to do scams in Islam. For now, we can leave. Our, no, we're not leaving early, Cosworth. I'm not dropping a hard end. We're about to talk about Pee Wee Herman because Twitter has to fucking hear this. All right. It's it's interesting how he refers to Islam as though, oh, they just can't possibly do it because it's not allowed. He has a different standard for Islam than any other religion, in my opinion, from how I perceive how he talks about different things. And from what I understand about Islam in this moment, there seems to be a theme with him preaching Islam being, oh, it's the most dominating force out there right now. And uh, his trying to his him trying to actually normalize PDF computer file type stuff, predatorial behavior towards children. There seems to be a theme there. Uh, Pee Wee Herman is America's Jimmy Savile. Like when you look at Jimmy Savile, you can see Americans can see that that guy is fucked up. For those of you that don't know, Jimmy Savile was a uh, uh, hosted a child's television show in Britain. It was called Jimmy Knows Best or Ask Jimmy or whatever. And they let all their kids watch old Jimmy Savile. And he was a DJ in Europe and uh, was on the radio. And then he had that TV show and he was very uh, well connected in the child hospital type scenario with charities and whatnot. And after his death, they, they revealed that he was raping dead children. Literally, he owned a. OK, that I've, out of all the research that I've ever done, there was never anything like that. that. That's one of the problems with him. There's no need to exaggerate. There was over 400 victims that were reported between the ages of, I think, eight and 64. Uh, so don't get me wrong. Like I, I'm real. Operation Yule, Yule, Yule Tree, I think. Y-E-W-L Tree. I think that's what it's, it could be you, but I think it's Yule Tree. I'm making this point. I'm not trying to stay in the good graces of liberal Hollywood or anything. When I say I truly don't believe white people are more moral than black people. Promise you I don't think that. This guy is more evil than 99.999% of Nigerians, okay? And he's white as a baby's ass. So you can't claim someone's a good person because they're white. It's just...